And welcome to the home of the St. Louis Park Orioles, the St. Louis Park Stadium. This is Ira Gerwitz along with Kelsey Tatarik to bring you tonight's Section 6AA quarterfinal boys soccer match between the number seven seed, Robbinsdale Cooper, and the number two seed, St. Louis Park Orioles. A chilly, not terribly chilly, but chilly wet night out here for the match. And uh, I'm gonna turn it over to Kelsey right now. Kelsey, pardon me. Kelsey right now to do the starting lineups. All right, so the away team, Robbinsdale Cooper, the Hawks. Uh, we have number 15, Murilo Venancio Rolim. Number 27, Christian Lamus. Number 30, Abdi Mohammed. Number 31, James Sando. 34, Emmanuel Modupeolua. Number 35, Christopher Pinson Medina. 36, Robert Yaley. 37, Henry Sua. Number 40, Simon Dyson. Number 42, Cyrus Jarje. And starting in goal, number 99, Matthew Wood. Now for the St. Louis Park Orioles, starting in goal, we have number one, Bo Finley. Number six, Thomas Kneiser. Number seven, Mohamed Mohamed. Number eight, Andrew Kneiser. Number 10, Nicholas Riley. Number 11, Alexander Ruiz Shimada. 14, Daniel Lanesbury Jr. Number 15, Nicholas Pantazidis. Number 16, Bennett Kuame. Number 18, Jovan Dennison and number 26, Thomas Salamzadeh. And the head coach for the visiting team is Kent Getchell, his assistants Graham Almy and Matthew Simeon. And for St. Louis Park, head coach Chato Alvarado, assistant coaches Pat Harmon, Anson Opara, and Bob Decker are underway here. Um, can't remember the exact score. I think they said it was six to one the last time these two, six to two, the last time these two teams played. So, if it follows the suit of the first matchup, then uh, St. Louis Park should have an easy time of it. But then again, this is the second season, and anything can happen. Definitely, yep. And like we said, wet, slippery out on the field. Um, any little mistake could turn into a big opportunity for either team. And the wind also again tonight, it's been picking up here throughout the evening as we have an early turn towards winter coming in the next <laughs> few days here. Thankfully, we aren't scheduled to get a lot of snow, but around the uh, state to the east, there could be quite, about, quite a bit of snow. And it looks like we're gonna have an Orioles goal kick. I was surprised when the game started, the yellow shirt on the Cooper Hawks goalkeeper. Normally the referees will make them change their jersey not to conflict with the referee's jersey, but sure. not so tonight. One ball bounding around. Break up clearing attempt. Long ball. Salam's a day. Plays it back up field, it goes to one of the Hawks, and then out for it is the Oriole goalkeeper, Finley. Yeah, uh, hold, maybe the call there. Played out to the left side, half back. Mohammed Mohammed plays it off. Good through ball, right idea. Just a little too much pace on that to connect the Orioles attacker. See if we can tell which way the wind's blowing, but maybe slightly to from left to right. Orioles first to the ball there. Play it forward. Race for it. The Orioles win the ball. Keep possession. 
But again, just a little slippery. You saw he tried to do the a little bit of a pullback there in the corner, bring it back onto the field, and just slipped away from him with this wet weather. Yeah, like I said, slick surface. Definitely. And on turf, it's just going to run even faster then. Exactly. This ball cleared out by Salam today. Seems like I'm always complaining about the sight now. Now <laughs> it's nice and bright out there, but the glare off the windows. Have to look through the uh, at the monitor. Thank you, Kelsey. Turn off the lights in the booth here. A little easier to see through the glass. Played out on the left wing. possessed of the ball or the Orioles but trying to get it back headed and then a foul called on yeah definitely a late challenge there by by the Hawks and in kind of a good field position right now for the Orioles to get something on frame or get it in the box and hopefully a volley into the back of the net and uh, looking at the halfway line flag and it's going in all directions so I can't tell you which way the wind is actually blowing right now it's blowing north to south a couple seconds ago it was blowing west to east oh I don't know if it'll help or hinder, hinder the Orioles right now but here comes the free kick balls played in and he scores into the back of the net in the f fourth minute, <laughs> right at 35 minutes. Yeah, great finish there by Salam today. Just capitalizes on that great field position for this free kick. Great strike on the ball, just over the top of the Cooper goalie and into the far corner of the net. Scoring for St. Louis Park, number 26, Thomas. Unassisted Salam goal for today. Salam today. Time of the goal, five minutes. Salam today at five minutes. The actual time of the goal was five minutes, but according to soccer time, that's the four in the fourth minute. Plays Ooh. the ball forward, headed away by the Cooper defender. Lucky because he had a man breaking down the left side. Definitely, that would have been a to-goal opportunity yep. easily. And the ball cleared out, over touch for an Oriole throw-in. Orioles keeping the ball in play. Good touch. Oh, rebounds off, and the Orioles can't get there in time, but they'll pick up the loose ball. Good save by the Hawks. Goalie come out on that and just gets his body in front of it to deflect. And there's a foul called or played out of touch throw in. Blocked there by the defender. Sent down the field and heard a whistle oh, for the throw in. Oh, headed there by Cooper. So late hit, but no foul called. Playing the ball forward out wide. Offside is called. Thought it may have been close. And looked over at the AR, and sure enough. A tough tackle there, you can see. Muriel 
little girls playing earlier this evening. We haven't got a result on that match yet. I don't know if we'll get one while we're on, on the air. But. Finley comes out to collect that ball. Sending it back up the field for the Orioles. There's another chance for the Orioles breaking out. That's on side this time. Plays it up. And a right idea tries for the cross, but ends up with a corner. Just an, another good opportunity for the Orioles here. Not much action in the other end of the field. This first. No, not too much so far. First eight minutes. Seven and a half minutes, eight and a half minutes. Ball sent in. Saved easily by the goalkeeper. And Cooper plays it out for an Orioles throw in. on the ball, playing it back to Finley. Hopkins losing to Wyzetta two to one this evening, girls side. Muhammad playing the ball forward. Kwame out on the outside, tries to touch it forward. Ball bounces out of Cooper's hands and he's able to recover it. He was fortunate there wasn't any Oriole player there because that came out quite away from his hands. Definitely, yeah, just a nice little touch in creating that 1v1 and ball just slips out of his hands again. With this wet weather, both teams are gonna have to be really aware, really cognizant of um, the rebound opportunities that might come. And it's gonna be a throw in. Little shove there. Then the botch throw. But maybe they had touched it up last. But. Now a Hawk substitute entering the field. <laughs> Number 39, Isaac DePay entering for Cooper. Today. He's pushed out of the way. And the foul is called. Set out to the left outside halfback. Oh, nice touch. Tried to get around the defender, couldn't. Muhammad on the ball. And we're gonna get an Orioles free kick. I believe it was a little bit closer than the last one that uh, the Orioles scored on. In the fifth, fourth minute. Yeah, definitely. I'm expecting if Salam Sadeh takes this kick again to have it on frame. So the Orioles just need to crash the net in case we get a rebound. Exactly. So Salam Sadeh and Kwame on the ball for the Orioles. And they asked for 10 and they got eight or nine. Look at that. It is right at the keeper again. He gives off up the rebound. But they couldn't get very close. They had to keep their onside position. Yep, he just keeps that one low, kind of going to the far post. Nice job of heading it that way and putting a little curve on it so it breaks back into the goal. Now again on the outside left, offside the call. The 
Orioles will just need to take note of that and be a little more um, aware of that second to last defender when they're making their runs forward. Yeah, use a little more of a diagonal run rather than a straight line run and that may keep them on sides. For sure, starting a little bit more wide and yep. then coming in. Better run by the Orioles, knocked away and they'll gain, regain possession. Knocked, deflected out by Cooper and it's another Oriole throw in. Mohamed Mohamed plays it up on the right side. Cuts it across. And an offside call by the referee. We'll see there, he's calling the or by the assistant referees calling the center over. All right, here's a replay of of the play. Oriel's able to turn, Muhammad plays it through. Touching it towards the end line, able to cut it across. And that Oriel player runs onto it. And they're gonna call a goal kick, or an offsides rather. And like we said, the last line, the last matchup between these two teams, six to two for the Orioles. So potentially not a huge factor for the Orioles in win or loss of this game. Um, however, still. Right, right. Remains to be seen. That was too bad because that was a, a pretty passing play, even though the goalkeeper uh, deflected it. Yeah. Where was it? The goalkeeper defender deflected it. And I think that's what caught the player off sides is that last little extra touch there. Um, without that touch, I think it would have been, been a goal. And we come again down the left side. Man's open. Is he going to be on sides this time? He must be. I don't hear a whistle. Cooper sending the ball forward. regain possession again. Oh, there's a tackle from behind. Clock is stopped. We're going to have a yellow card here in this 16th minute. Yeah, and just a careless tackle going for the legs um, instead of the ball there. Number 30 with the yellow card. coming in behind him. And the Hawks giving up quite a few um, just careless challenges, uh, leading to a number now of Orioles free kicks. One ultimately leading to the St. Louis Park goal. This one's a little further out, so the keeper should have more time to adjust to it if it's taken right on goal. But again, you never know, he'd get it up high and going for a long kick like that. Ball sent in. Keeper able to keep control of the ball this time. Hawks playing it out of bounds for an Orioles throw. regain possession of the ball. ball Eric breaking forward. down the middle. Oh, and a good job by the keeper to come out and stop that. Woods read it well and or would I should say. Royals just continue their Number attack. played forward for the Orioles, just unable to connect there for a Hawks throw in. 
And on number 19, that entered the match for the Hawks, not on the lineup, so we, uh, or on the roster sheet, so we can't tell you who that is at the moment. Number 31, Sando, and 38, Henry DePay are now in the game for Cooper. for St. Louis Park. A bit of a dispute on yep. who should be throwing in the ball. And now they're giving it back to Cooper. So somebody changed their mind. A long throw in for Cooper. Good touch by the Orioles. He's going to be offside if he, well, he let it go because he knew he'd be offside. Or at least I think he did. That's why he didn't come back to try and steal the ball. It's about the most possession Cooper's had in this match so far. And now that I said that, the Orioles... Coming down the field again, a nice little header touch forward. Good movement. But ultimately gets tripped up by the two defenders. Needs to release that ball a little bit sooner. And a foul call. Touch by the Orioles, clearing the ball back up the field. And they gain possession, carrying up on the left side. There goes the man through. He's going to, well, the keeper's going to get there. So to say he was going to be onside, I believe. It looked like he started behind the second to last defender. Lamsaday heading the ball back to Finley. Mohammed Mohammed. Or since I didn't hear any complaints last time, I'll call him Moho Mo 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 again. Ball deflects off the referee, but the Orioles are able to get possession back Out on the left fullback side. I believe that was Dennison over to Salam today. And here comes a break down the right side. Great ball through out to Riley. Riley plays it to the top of the 18. Oh, nice oh, save, great rebound. Save. Ball's still in. Chips it across, goalie's out of the net, and it's in for another Orioles goal. Three times the charm. Number 14, I believe, with the goal. Yep. This great early is, ball by Riley to the top of the box. This one's in the 20th minute. Takes the touch, great save. And another great save by the Cooper goalie. But Riley just getting, beating the goalie back out to the touchline, playing it high across in Lanesbury, getting on top of it and heading it into the back of the net. Daniel Lanesbury. The assist goes to number 10, Nick Riley. Time of the goal, 1956. Lanesbury for Riley at 1956, number nine. And a great effort by Cooper's goalie, Wood, on that last play, making two saves, almost getting to the end line to beat Riley to that ball. But um, it's only so much one man can do in Absolutely. that situation. That's why he's got defenders there to help him out. and They weren't too helpful. Orioles on the ball. Playing it through. I think he's on sides. Looking to play it across. The Cooper defense able to um, get on the end of that cross and looking to move it up the field. 
deflected there. New Orioles gain possession once again. Out of back. Dennison plays it out back to rather to Salam today. Played it up to Neiser. And here's another opportunity for the Orioles on the left side. They like that left side in particular tonight. Good cut. Still on the ball. Plays it to the top of the six. Oh, and a right idea there. Yep, just couldn't get around on it. Well, there's a foul. Pushing from behind on number 18. Yeah, just gets his arm right up on his shoulder. Uh. I don't see it, number 18 on the sheet either, so. And Riley on the ball for the Orioles. Playing it short to Salam Zadeh. Salam Zadeh looking for a shot on net, but goes too high. And another three point. Medina back in for Cooper, number 35. Players taking his time getting off the field. And finally, the referee gives the whistle to restart play. You would think he would want to hustle off the field since they're behind by two goals, but maybe he sees the writing on the wall. So I'm coming up for the Orioles. Still sticking with it. Yeah, now he's tripped up, and the foul is finally called. And the player's going, throwing his arms up. What? I didn't do anything. Yeah. Just barely clipped his heels, I think. Yeah, must have been. In a good position here for the Orioles. Um, Tough angle, but chance for people to close in on the far side. Definitely, if you can get that ball to the to the far post and connect with either a runner or even hit the hit the back of the net. Ball's played in. And he scores. <laughs> and it looks like number nine, Randy Mayele on the end of that ball off of, I believe, Salam Zadeh. So in the 24th minute, Mayele. The assist goes to Salam Or actually, correction, I believe it's number 16, Bennett Kwame, when we looked at that replay. Okay. And Cooper on the ball. Looking to make something happen. Ball played out wide for Cooper. Looking to flick it on, but the Orioles defender is able to break up that pass. Drop back. Long today sends it deep again. Ball sent long by Cooper. Salam today heading it back to Finley. Perfectly headed. Nice ball through. Dennison sending it forward. And it just rolls out of out of touch for a Cooper throw in. Third, 
Once again, the assist on the third St. Louis Park goal was credited to 16 Bennett Kwame. The guy who messaged me said, wow. Nayeli on the ball for the Orioles, sending it through. And the keeper is out again to meet the ball rather than letting the Orioles run on to it. And we're going to have a Cooper free kick. Is that the first foul on St. Louis Park this match? Ooh. Maybe. First or second. Yeah, there hasn't been many. Of course, they've been in control of the ball most of the time, so. Definitely. Ball sent in, headed away by the Orioles defender. Oh, yeah. Nice. Another and foul called on the Orioles. This time in a better, more dangerous scoring position for the Hawks. Good catch the number of who that foul was on. <laughs> It'll be about 27 <laughs> yards out from goal. And three Xbox, three Need your joints lubricated a bit. You're, you're squeaking. <laughs> Number 40 for the Hawks on the ball, sending it in on frame. Oh, great save by Finley. Yeah, great touch. Just pushing it over the crossbar. Good strike by number 40. Um, Simon Dyson for Cooper. Now the first corner kick coming up for the Hawks. Shot on goal. Gets Riley had it bound to bounce away from him, but he would crawl out to get it, cover it up. And another throw in coming up for the Hawks. And Cooper with a little bit of momentum here. Yep, this is the, the most possession now. I said that earlier. Now they really are in possession. Before it was just throw ins, but. Getting some good scoring opportunities. Yep, in that, in that red zone, as they call it in football, American football. <laughs> this is English football. It looks like we're going to have a free kick for the Orioles. player and all signals restart play all flicked on yep. and Cooper's gonna let it roll out for a throw in and again the singles part forward center forward there he uh, he would have been offside so he didn't make any attempt to go to the ball it was close but in my opinion he was offside I think he may be again. Ball sent and touched past the Hawks keeper. Sent across and just a little too far for the Orioles attacker. Ball played back to Panazitas who sends it in. Knocks it way out over the goal line. And corner kick coming up. Great ball sent in by Panazitas. The Hawks goalie able to get the ball punched away. Unless the referee calls a foul, which it looks like he might have been. Yes, he has, based on the placement of the free kick going to the Hawks. That was probably a good call. Yeah, just a little bit of a questionable challenge on the goalie there um, after he had cleared it away um, and just trying to protect the keeper in those situations. Right. A little bit late on making contact. Plus was within the six yard box, which gives them additional. Peterson gets to the ball oh, and cleared out by the Hawks. Yeah, whenever it's right in that goal area, um, yeah. always just rather be safe, keep players' safety in mind. 
Take a moment back in for St. Louis Park. At least I can tell by his hair. Mayeli on the ball, playing it back to Muhammad. Serves it in. Great save by Wood for Cooper. Look at it right here. Just skips past Zua. on the ball for the Orioles. And it looks like it's going to be deflected out by Cooper for an Orioles corner kick. An unfortunate clearance into their own player yep. leading to the corner kick. Loose and pick out a danger by a box. Hawks with a good string of passes there. Looking to keep it in. That's a weird number. Mud passes it up the line. Goes around one defender, tried to play it to himself, broken up. He deflects it back into the goal area. Mohammed's touch gets knocked away by the Hawks. Ball called for the push by Cooper. And the referee, is he stopping the clock? At the, yep, he's talking to the player. Looks like we're gonna have our second yellow card of the match against Cooper. Number 39, Isaac Depaye. look at it again yeah just coming in from behind not playing the ball just yep. getting at the ankles yeah. and salam's a day on the ball for the orioles number 36 just waiting on the referee to get back into position Post, of course, based on the way the players have lined up. Cooper clearing it up the field. Looking to make a counterattack. Muhammad just breaks up that, that dribbling sequence. Cooper back on the ball. Too big, too big of a touch. <laughs> Orioles able to clear it away. A little bit too much on that one. Going for substitution. Twenty-nine. Like he's having trouble holding his shorts up. <laughs> That's a Roscoe Ricci. Playing it back to Salam today. Plays it out wide. Good touch by the Orioles. Peterson playing it to Muhammad. Now 
Kornheiser playing it forward. Almost got enough of it to break the player down the middle. But. And Cooper sending numbers forward here. Got a 4v3 situation, ball played in long. Got it away and up the field to Mohammed. Mohammed. Great ball forward. Mailey, I believe. Playing it across, just gets. And yeah. just into the side netting. Great idea. Just that little touch by number 37 on Cooper um, deflects it just enough that Mayeli isn't quite able to get a good touch on that bouncing ball. That was Lua that was actually bringing that ball down towards the net. A bouncing ball here. <laughs> Mohammed flicking it over the Cooper defender. Unable to get a good shot on the ball and Wood coming out to to grab it. Goes up to pull the rebound off the boards. <laughs> Touched out of play by the Hawks. Just a little over four minutes remaining here in the first half. Renell the score, St. Louis Park in the lead. Nice ball, but couldn't control it. Picked it up. They're switching the field out to Peterson. Cooper steps up to dispossess, playing the ball forward. Comes at eight turns, plays it out to the right fullback, and it goes out of touch. Cooper get another possession in the Oriole half of the field. Actually in the attacking third of the field. And coming in for Cooper is number 12, Oliver Martinez. Ball played across by Cooper, looking to send it in. Cooper, as the Orient went up to head the ball down the field. Didn't see anything. And foul call to St. Louis Park, pushing from behind. Ball played in. Cooper moving the ball down the line. Touched out by the Orioles for a. Cooper corner kick. Under a minute and a half. Good ball sent in. Finley reaches up, able to grab it. Quick distribution forward. Cooper sending it back into the box. And there, can he possess it before it goes out? No, but it's another corner kick. Ball 
ball sent in. Orioles able to get ahead on it. Muhammad flicks it back up the field. Cooper in possession, sending it back in. Finley able to get the tip. And another Cooper corner kick. It looked at first like he may have been out too far. as He starts backpedaling, but he yeah. was able to get his feet planted and get the hand up and reflect it off the football goal post for the corner. Or I should say the football crossbar. <laughs> oh, almost had a steal there. And the Warriors will get the throw, 20 seconds remaining. Plays it off, has a man breaking on the right side. He's got the touch. Deflects off the goalkeeper. Ball still in. And we have another Orioles goal. Time stop. There's an injury on the field. We'll have to, we'll have to we'll see, see whether. Muhammad plays it forward. Kent running onto the ball. Able to get a touch. Plays it. Wood comes up with the save. Mayeli getting the rebound. <laughs> Looks like unless it's offside, there's no reason why the goal shouldn't stand. And the injury was because of the own player running into the goalkeeper. Yeah, just that contact between Olivera Martinez and Wood. Um, one more look at the play. There's where the goalkeeper crashes into their defender. Uh, it looks like it is going to count <coughs> in the 40th minute. Making it 4-0. believe it was Mayali. Mayali, yes. Screwed up his name all season long. Why change now? I apologize to him. So Orioles take a 4-0 lead. And with these remaining five seconds in the half, we're just waiting for the athletic trainer to um, finish evaluating Cooper goalie uh, Wood, checking out his right knee after that collision leading up to the Four. Orioles' fourth goal. Got another goalkeeper coming in for him. He only has to worry for, like you said, five seconds. And, and if Wood is okay at halftime, then he can bring him back in. And there's the buzzer to sound the end of the first half. Uh, one that I have to say, we have to say, was dominated by the St. Louis Park Orioles. Possession probably, uh, I would say, 34 out of the 40 minutes of the half. Definitely. I'll quickly go over the, the stats here in the first half. In the fourth minute, Salam Zadeh scores unassisted on a direct free kick to make it 1-0 St. Louis Park. In the 16th minute, number 30, Abdi Muhammad got a yellow card for Cooper for tackling from behind. Then in the 20th minute, number 14, Lanesbury, with the assist going to number 10, Riley, to make a 2 nothing lead for St. Louis Park. Then in the 24th minute, the first of his two goals, Mayali, with the assist going to Kwame to make it 3 0. In the 33rd minute, number 39, Depeyev, 
however you say it. I apologize again. He gets a yellow card for the Hawks, again, for a tackle from behind. And then Maelli in the 40th minute, just five seconds remaining in the half, he makes it 4-0. And uh, I believe that one was an unassisted goal because of the rebounds that came off. Yeah, a bit of a scramble there in front of the net. Right. So, And that, uh, that sums up the the scoring in the first half and the yellow cards. Um, again, a, a game dominated by St. Louis Park thus far, and we probably can look to see more of that in the second half, unless the wind is having a great effect, which I, I really can't tell from up here. But it'll also be a chance for Chato to play some of his other players if he feels comfortable that the lead will not be given up. Definitely. So that's where we stand at the half. St. Louis Park 4, Robbinsdale Cooper nil. We'll be back here on Park TV 16 right after this message. safety step could mean the difference between a close call and a call to 911. Simple steps save lives. Learn more at poolsafely.gov. And we're back for the second half of tonight's quarterfinal boys 6AA soccer match between the St. Louis Park Orioles and the Robindale Cooper Hawks. Robindale, Robindale Cooper Hawks. This is Ira Gerwitz along with Kelsey Toterek bringing you tonight's match which as we mentioned before the half, a one-sided match with possession about uh, probably 90% uh, going to St. Louis Park. We'll see if things stay the way they are here. Um, St. Louis Park will play the winner of Hopkins Southwest and that will be three o'clock on Saturday here if this game remains an Oriole victory. Yeah, and pretty hopeful with the 4-0 um, margin for St. Louis Park here coming into the second half. Uh, yeah, but hopefully they come out with this win um, as it's the rain's picking up a bit <laughs> here tonight, uh, making it a little more slippery uh, as we enter the second half. I see something that surprised me there. The section final will be played at Osseo. <clears throat> which in the past has always been a high seed. So. <laughs> well, I've been told by the PA announcer that that's an error, that Section 5A is at Osseo on, set, on uh, Tuesday, rather. <laughs> As, again, the Orioles in possession start the second half. Field headed back to, and it looks like we have a goalkeeper change for the Orioles. It looks like number zero, Luis Benitez ben Matias, is now in goal for the Orioles. So two zeros in goal. Nil versus nil, and the score is four nil. <laughs> I guess that makes three zeros. <laughs> Oh, where you just like the the from the Orioles and Matias coming out to send that ball up the field. Ball played in the box. Matias distributing out wide to Kent who plays it forward. Oh, it's a football crossbar. And a nice shot just fortunately gets gets on the crossbar there. And actually it looks like it may have hit the outside of the goalpost and then deflected up and hit the football. 
doesn't make much difference. <laughs> it's a goal kick either way. Too picky. <laughs> Not of you, myself. <laughs> Cooper on the ball. Sending it forward. Played out by Cooper, but they're giving it to them. I thought it was played out by Cooper. Yeah, I did too. Nice ball sent in. Oh no, he drops the ball and he takes the shot at the open net and hits the football crossbar. Oh my goodness. This was a great opportunity for Cooper that they were right there for the rebound. And you can see his ankle just not pointed down, his toe not pointed down, not able to get over the top of that ball and just place it into the back of that open net. I'm a lucky... Lucky break for the Orioles there. Yeah, I'm sure Matias is going, oh no, the first ball basically that challenges me and I, I give up the rebound and almost a goal. <laughs> and again, he hasn't had a chance to play those kind of balls in this wet field, so <clears throat> he's gotta make the adjustment for that type of wet condition. Definitely, and so far this half, Cooper coming out with a bit more energy and um, excitement and more opportunities. Possession. Yeah, definitely. They came back from that, that halftime refreshed, and um, they're definitely showing it on the field here. Head coach Kent Ketchell must have been on their case. He's a very good coach, and uh, looks like he's got them fired up a bit. Long ball sent forward by Cooper, but it's going to run out for an Orioles throw in. <laughs> Matias comes out, makes the save. I was worried there was going to be a little confusion there. It looked like it for a split second there. the ball for the Orioles. Playing it wide to Muhammad. Muhammad playing it up the field. <laughs> and ball went out. Gonna have a Hawks throw in. Problems that they had a little problem with that ball, but <clears throat> was able to recover it and play it downfield a ways. Cooper sending another ball towards the top of the 18. Orioles defender slips and falls. He was covered nicely by his teammate and they cleared it out for a throw in. <laughs> You can see the wind blowing, the rain out there right now. I thought it was just the windows here were fogged up. <laughs> I really did, but now as I look through the opening here, it's it's blowing rain. It's making it look foggy out there. Long ball sent forward by the Orioles. Orioles able to get on the end of it. Touched out by the Hawks. Like we're going to have an Orioles corner kick. Orioles sending two players out with this wind and rain. 
trying to keep a little bit more control of the ball. And we've got an offsides called on Riley. And the wind is sort of swirling because I've watched in the rain it's going from right to left and then it's going left to right. So Yeah, inconsistent <laughs> for the players here tonight. Yep. Nice little play off to the inside. Good ball by Muhammad. And we're going to have another offsides called against the Orioles. Most of those offside calls have come from the right side. Occasionally there's been a left side and forward, but it's been mainly right side that's been offside. A lot of them weren't called because the player pulled himself back and didn't make a play on the ball in that first half. Going for Cooper and substitution into the match. <laughs> Isaac Pate, number 39, into the match for the Hawks. Orioles in possession, looking to send it forward, but deflected off a Hawks player. <laughs> I think the Hawks this half have been marking a lot tighter, and that's why they're gaining more possession of the ball, where the Orioles are pretty much moving the ball at, at will in the first half. Definitely, yes, yeah, staying tighter on those marks, just forcing uh, more errors from the Orioles and able to to win possession off, off those errors. Played back to Matias. Oh. The clearance doesn't go very far. Yeah, that, no, it looks like it went off the outside of his foot and right across the goal. And that shot by number 36 on Cooper just over the crossbar. Cooper first to the ball off that goal kick. Looking to keep possession. Muhammad able to dispossess. And yeah, just Cooper even closing down that space much quicker in, than in the first half. Yeah. Orioles have to work a lot harder this half. Here we go again, closing down. Makes a steal. Hurt himself on that play. Cooper player still on the ground, slow to get back up. I think the Orioles may have purposely played it out deep to them on the throw, or to give them a throw in, but then the player got up and stayed in the match. Always nice to see some good sportsmanship going on on the field. Absolutely, especially when you're playing for a chance to move on. It's today or you're done, one and done. It looks like now he came off. Play the ball back to the keeper. Yeah, 
Big first touch there by Cooper. Riley looking to put some pressure on the ball. Oh, there's the foul. No, nope, no call. I thought it should have been a foul. Came in late, but what do I know? And Hove punting the ball up the field for the Hawks. One little more contact though this half too. Definitely, yeah, some, some hard challenges coming in at the start of this second half. There's another push off with the hand. There he took it. Now this time, did he call a throw in or he call a foul? <coughs> Looks like it's a foul. And Gonda slow to get up. No, it's, he called a throw in again. That was a hard tackle. Yeah, definitely being more lenient so far um, in the second half. Things we saw that probably would have been called in the first half. Exactly. Oh, Matias hangs on to that ball with the attacker coming right at him. Good movement by Riley. And too big of a first touch by the Orioles defender. But Orioles able to clean it up a little bit, sending it out for a Cooper throw in. Great foot skills. A oh, little miscommunication there. Then. The Orioles number 13, Christensen, thought that Mohammed was going to come back and stay with the ball. But. I might be sick. I might be sick on that today. <laughs> Uh, corner kick. Oh, full kick rather. Mm. Uh, too bad. Uh, too bad that seniority. You know. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. I've been. I've been around. You know. Around <laughs> Fantasy just sends that ball forward to Muhammad's feet. Like, we're gonna set you up outside. <laughs> Challenging for the ball. We're going to finally see a foul called here. And it looks like it's. Against Samuels Park. Yep, it's going to be Cooper's ball. This time 35 yards out from the goal. <laughs> And number 40, Simon Dyson on the ball for Cooper. Looking to get this on frame. Orioles able to clear that ball out. Riley playing the ball forward. Bad if he would have gotten a little wider, they would have had another chance to go downfield with it. Ball's taken away by the Orioles. Good ball sent forward. Touches it past the Cooper defender in the box. Slots it across, unable to get a toe on it. And the Cooper defender able to dispossess, clearing the ball back up the field. Pantazitas, long ball back. Oh, nice back heel pass here by the Orioles. Breaking that goal. And Riley just playing it across with his right foot, and it just 
goes a little too far. Wouldn't tell if he was trying to shoot that or pass it to the player on the far side. Yeah, it kind of looks like a shot here. Um, just goes too far wide. If he could have gotten that on his left foot and slotted it across, he had two players running into the box that easily could have tapped it in. Yeah, watching on replay, I can see where you're right. He did try to shoot it rather than pass it. Kent first to the ball. But Cooper plays a long one forward. Nice touch by Muhammad. Good ball forward. Ruiz Shimada on the ball. Good touch by Muhammad. Can he get a service? And it's going to be touched out by Cooper for a corner. Just under 22 minutes remaining in regulation for Neil, the Orioles in the lead. Ball sent in. Orioles get ahead on it. Scrambled in the box. And the call is a goal kick. And we have a sub coming in for Cooper, looks like. Number 39, Isaac Depe is back in for Cooper. Well, it's good to see Depe back in. He was the one that had the injury on the field. Definitely always good to see a player be able to get back up, get back playing after an injury. Absolutely. Claudia Zua back in for the Orioles. Number 16, Kwame, and Kwame, Zua. number 16 Return as well. Short goal kick by Cooper. Looking to just keep possession here. Good ball forward. Rolling for the Orioles. We have a handball called against the Orioles. And the Kneiser brothers in for St. Louis Park. Ball sent in by Cooper, headed away by the Orioles. Zua moving the ball up the field. Defender was in good position there to cut off the ball going upfield. Play it out of touch. Good speed by Cooper to get past those defenders, moving the ball up the field. An excellent defending by the Orioles. Of letting that one roll back in. As he punts the ball back up the field. Made it look like he was going to come out, make a play on the ball, and then when he saw the Oriole forward stop, and then he backpedaled so he could pick up the ball in the penalty area. Good passing by the Orioles, switching the field. Little miscommunication there. Break for the Orioles. Oh. But they were dispossessed.
Rowan Hawks. Tried to clear it out to the side, but was intercepted by Cooper. Knocked away by the Orioles, and they pick up the ball, sending it. Long ball, he's on side because he was on his own half of the field, breaking all alone. Oh, nice fake. Oh! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he hit the outside of the post. All that hard work, good footwork past the goalie. Just takes an inside of the cut touch pass. I think he saw and the defender coming across, so he wanted to make sure he had it right near the goal post. And but just unable to open up his hips <coughs> enough to redirect that ball yep. back into the net. Well, he'll have to save that goal for the next game. <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> Here comes Mayeli again. Can he redeem himself? Yes, he does. Just touches <laughs> it to the back. Doing a little dance there. <clears throat> He's excited in the 66th or 64th minute of the match. And much better composure just using his right foot, pushing it past the goalie into that far post side Jordan netting. Six Lewis Park, his third goal of the game, number nine, Randy. That's a hat trick for Mayeli. Just that missed touch by the Cooper defender lets that ball bounce just slightly past, and Mayeli able to get on the end of that, giving him a hat trick for this game, his third goal of the match. And a 5 0 lead with a little over 16 minutes left in regulation. It has to be a bit of a downer for Cooper as they've been playing much better here in the second half. And almost uh, got a goal themselves earlier and and then uh, have the Orioles finally get a counterattack to put up the lead. Definitely, and as you mentioned before, in this sections when you know it could be your last game and with a score like this, knowing it is your last game, um, difficult to kind of see it slip away. Especially if you're a senior. For sure, yeah. Last game of a four-year high school career. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> I'm trying to remember your senior year. Was that the year that you had your torn ACL? No, that was uh, my sophomore year. Oh, okay. Yep, so I had a couple of years after that. Well, that's better than having it happen in the senior year. <laughs> True. True. And that rain, as we see on this camera, just really coming, coming down. down on yep. the players. A shot taken. Hove able to get, get his hands on that for an easy save. Another look at it right there. Carries it down. Oh, no. Orioles with another steal. Flex off the defender. Good hustle by Mayelli. Oh, nice back pass. Good composure by the Orioles here. Long shot. And deflected over the crossbar by Hove. Great shot by Panazitas from distance. Gets a great strike. And Hove just able to get his hands on it, tipping it over. The Orioles making substitution. Um, 
comes the day back in. Number 26 allows the day back in for the Orioles. And sending two to the corner. Cooper play, player needing to back up a bit, give him those 10 yards. And it looks like the head coach for Cooper has decided it's time to warm up the players that haven't gotten a chance to play yet this evening. Yeah, get any seniors onto the field. Also back in for the Orioles is two Alley. And it's going to be a goal kick coming up. It looks like Orioles player number 21, Zua, hanging out in the Cooper box for a minute, fixing a shoe, it looks like. Oh, yes. I'm glad they kicked it over him and not had him. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need another card. No. <coughs> Off of the new Orioles. You throw in for Cooper. Touched. Good work by the Cooper attacker sending it to the top of the box. And they're finding all the open players right now. Yeah, doing a great job of moving that ball in the attacking third. Finally, the Orioles break it up, send it long. Offsides, yep, there's a flag goes up. That one you could have called from that home watching this on TV. <laughs> yeah, Ball played out wide for Cooper, moving it up the field. And we're going to get a call against Cooper. Free kick for the Orioles. I missed that one. Did you see what it was? Not quite sure. No. Mom's well, a day to take the free kick. It's a long way. Race for it. Two Orioles there first. Mayelli just tapping it over the top of Hove. And there is another goal for the Orioles. Making this the fourth goal for number nine, Randy Mayelli of the match. In the 70th minute, Mayelli, as you said, scores his fourth goal. Just great composure and by the senior Orioles forward. And it's six nil Orioles. And again, great ball, great long ball in by Salam today. Mayali able to run on and get a foot on it. Salam today had the assist. Number 20, Pablo Borca. Cooper battling for the ball. Orioles come up with possession. Salam today playing it forward. Just a little bit too much this time. Hove coming out, distributing wide for Cooper. <coughs> Salamzadeh playing a ball through, great ball. Orioles gonna get there with time and space. Cutting it to the end, end line, playing it across. Cooper defender able to get a foot on it, clearing it out.
Good oh. turn. Yep. Nice, they're plated up. And there's a hard charge in the back. No call by the referee. Yeah, well, questionable no call, I'd say, on that one. See it again right Ronda here. Ronda going for the ball, 34, not even playing the ball, not even trying to play the ball there. And looked like he was trying to make a, sh a shoulder charge, but he got that arm in the back and crossed his arm, across the park player's arm. Definitely. And his, and his body got him with the rest of it, but. Cooper touching it past the def Orioles defender. And they score. A great shot just over the top of Matias by number 30. Abdi Muhammad. Great shot, just finds the back of the net in that far post, bringing the score up six to one. In the 73rd minute. Well, at least they got rewarded for their better play here in the second half. Definitely, yeah. Orioles moving the ball up the field. Zuo looking to get past one defender. And we're gonna have a foul called for the Orioles. Just touches past and pushed to the ground by the Cooper defender. Salam Zadeh on the kick for the Orioles. Real player who was offside and didn't continue his run to the ball. That's why there was no flag. You could see the line or the assistant referee started to raise the flag and then dropped it. Oh, A <laughs> little bit of scramble there in front of the net. Ruiz Shimada on the ball for the Orioles. Needs to be a throw in for uh, Cooper Cox. Six and a half minutes remaining. I think I'll just call it in the match instead of in regulation here. It would take a miracle at this point. Not that miracles don't happen. Ooh, a little collision there. Literally. He says play on. Yeah, a little bit of feistiness at the top of the Orioles box. Good touches. There's a trip. You've got to call it everything now. They're stopping the clock. We're going to have a yellow card coming. Yep. Number 38. Henry DePay getting a yellow card on that play. Chippy shot at the ankles. Yeah, not playing the ball and not a whole lot of sense to to go after a foul like that at this point in the game. sending the ball up the field. And we've got an offside call. Looks like it was an off on call. He started in an offside position, moving back on to receive the ball. 
So it's going to be a Cooper kick right near the half line. And the keeper taking his time to get the ball. About five minutes remaining here in this section quarterfinal match. Ball sent in by Cooper into the box. Orioles able to get ahead on it. Big clearance up the field. in there, but finally the ball comes loose. And it will be a throw in for the Hawks. I tried to get it across the field, but broken up by the defense. Long shot, easy save there. Good touches. Oh, yeah? Playing it through. Zua playing it through. Can't pass it to his player. At that point, he couldn't. Ruiz Shimada chipping it in. <laughs> Salam Sadeh going for the volley and just can't quite get a good foot on it again with the different type of bounce that you're getting tonight on the wet field it's understandable but that was that would have been a tough shot anyway <laughs> definitely or else they're going to give a corner kick here number 30 taking the kick for cooper three minutes left Ball sent in. Matias gets a hand on it, able to punch it away. Cooper looking to send it back in. Collected at the top of the box. Broken up by St. Louis Park, and they turn and look to go. Good ball sent forward, but again, we're going to get another offsides call here. Just a little too far ahead of that second to last defender. And again, Cooper taking their time here to set up this kick. Um, kind of kicking it all over the place here. Finally moving it up to be even with that linesman. And we're down to the two minute warning. <laughs> Nice oh. job there by Salam Zadeh, and that one's not going to be offside, I do not believe. And Hove thinking for a second to come out there, but Rui Shimada gets their first Zua on the ball. Couldn't control it well, but the Orioles still have possession. He was trying to set up Zua for the perfect shot from the middle of the field. Oh, nice pass out on the right side. Good service in, cleared away by the <coughs> Cooper defender. Reese Shimada back on the wall, ball out wide, sending it in. Cooper gets ahead on it. Oh. And just a missed touch, touch by Kneiser. Gonda on the ball. One minute remaining in the second half. Orioles One minute. just keeping possession, switching the field over to Dennison. Christensen to Kent. Plays it wide. That's offside again. I think they either both or one of them jumped just before the ball was played forward. 
Yeah, and Cooper really holding their line here. Not not really falling back with those Orioles runners, which they might be used to having that defender tracking them, keeping them on side. Yeah. Ten seconds remaining. And the Orioles will be advancing to the semifinals. And the Cooper Hawks will call it a season, ending with a record of three and twelve overall. And we'll again do a recap here. Yeah, for the full game. It uh, so from the first half here in the fourth minute, Salam Zadeh with a goal unassisted on direct free kick to make it 1-0. In the 20th minute, Lanesbury scores with the assist going to Riley to make it 2-0. 24th minute, Mealy, the first of his four goals on, or three, four goals on the evening. Uh, assist going to Kwame to make it 3-0. And then in the 40th minute, just before the end of the half, Mealy got his his uh, second goal of the match to make it 4-0. Then in the second half, in the 64th minute, Mealy with his hat trick, make it 5-0. And then in the 70th minute, Mealy, Mealy again, I'm gonna correct it again. <coughs> from Salam today to make it 6-0. Um, and then finally, the Cooper Hawks were able to get on the board in the 73rd minute. Abdi Mohammed scoring to make it 6-1. Cards in the match in the 16th minute was Abdi Mohammed for tackling from behind in the 16th minute. And then in the 30 or third minute, DePay scored, or had a yellow card also from tackling behind. And then finally, one last yellow card, DePay again. And uh, that would ends up, oh wait, that's two different DePays. One was 39, the other 38. I was say, wait a minute, that would be a red card. But there's DePay brothers out there, Isaac and Henry. And so that one was the final yellow card of the match, coming in a little late and catching the ankles. So that's the, uh, the recap of the scoring and the game. Again, Cooper coming out in the second half, playing much better than he did the first half, and uh, held the Orioles to just two goals and got one themselves. So uh, we congratulate Cooper Hawks on a fine season. They might not have been happy with a number of wins, but they played hard, I'm sure, all year. And congratulations to them and to the seniors. Farewell uh, for this soccer career at Cooper High School or St. Louis Park. Uh, as I said earlier, they'll advance to the uh, semifinal and they'll be playing the winner of either Hopkins or Southwest. And uh, that will be three o'clock right here uh, at St. Louis Park High School Athletic Field. And barring some uh, threatening weather, we'll assume that we're gonna be here at Park 16, Park TV 16 to bring you that match. So um, I don't know if Kelsey, she'll be here or her yep, father. Yep, I'll be here. <laughs> she'll be here also. So we'll both be here to bring you the semifinal and hopefully uh, take the Orioles to the final of the region or section, I should say, at the end of that game. So that wraps it up here from St. Louis Park High School. I'm sure our camera people would like to get warmed up and dried off. So for Ira Gerwitz and Kelsey Takarik, we say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next game. So long.